Hey guys, Dave back here with another ad-free episode of FFBE War of the Visions. What's up? In today's episodes, I'm just... Episodes? Uh, no, episode. <laughs> I'm going to walk you guys through uh, what I believe to be the optimal RAID setup. Uh, so the little cartoons in the background, uh, these are like actual situations that I've run into where we had like three Lucias and <laughs> someone kept just, I don't know if they were trolling us or they were just a complete noob at the game, but they, they kept blocking us and breaking the chain and it, it was horrible. It, it was really horrendous. Um, now in this one right here, uh, <laughs> Ziza was up in the front stealing time and then like one Lucia was there. I was doing it on my uh, lunch break. And the other two Lucias, they just decided that they were going to go to the back and uh, troll us. They were just buffing the whole time. So I've, I've seen a lot of crazy stuff this raid. Um, that's why I'm definitely looking for more people who want to get on Discord and do these raids in, in our guild. Uh, we, have, we have a couple people already, but you know, the more the better. The more of this nonsense that you can avoid, uh, the better, guys. So without further ado, let's jump in and take a look at the video that I've posted. All right, so let's take a look at this short video clip. We're not actually going to fight a 113. That's what mine is up to currently, or, or when I film this video, I'm actually up to about 130 right now, and, and I've done it all solo. Uh, but I have been able to join some multiplayer matches and take care of like 140s and higher. So I think the best combination is one Ziza and three Lucias. Because after the slime second turn, you start using Steel Time and he's locked down the rest of the fight. So you can do chain as much as you want. So get one Lucia there, right? You, you buff everybody up. Okay, so you all have the buff first turn. Great. Then you can move Ziza down there. Now it doesn't matter really where she starts as long as she can get there and kill that guy. Or, or get in that vicinity the first turn. If one of the other Lucias wants to kill the slime. It doesn't really matter. You just want Ziza down there the first turn. Now the, the first Lucia, Mojo Jojo, moved up between the two green leaves. <laughs> Actually they're not green, they're, they're brown leaves. Gross. They're covered in poo. Uh, then Celia moves up yeah, right next to the heart there and attacks the boss for AP. And then I move in between them. So we, we've kind of formed like a wall right there. And then I pop that because I'm going to be the main chainer helping them out since they're lower. Uh, but if you're all higher level, I mean, you're going to be able to kill the boss quicker. Then uh, Sleaze Bag moves up there right next to the boss. And that's that square or the square right behind it. Either one you can steal time from him. Uh, but I'm waiting for his next turn to pass so I don't waste it. So I just did a, a regular pummel attack. All right, and then again, just building up AP right there because we don't want to waste the chain. So then the Ziza was only 79, not too strong. So we're going to start the chain right here. All right, so you know, starting out with 4,400 right there. And the turn, uh, we're going to continue the chain. Again, these were low Lucias. Uh, normally, you'd probably want to do quadruple shot twice and then just double trigger, double trigger, or limit break. But they didn't have that. They only had um, sharpshoot. So, all right, so Ziza is going to steal time again, and the boss is just going to drop off the chart again. And then Ziza makes another turn before him. All right, and then we're just going to continue the chain. Um, it's pretty easy from here on out. So the, the chain's already up, you know, about 20k damage there. Then the other Lucia's, I think all they have again is sharpshoot. So not super strong, but even the <laughs> even the weak one nine crit did nine 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 nine. So you don't even have to be max level. Like one of them I think is like sixty five, and one is sixty, and that's it. And able to kill like a level sixty eight like it's nothing. All right, and here's Ziza's turn again. You just steal time. And again, we have we'll have six turns left after that, even with this. A weaker team and again should be able to steal time even a third time before the boss takes his next turn so yeah I've played around with a bunch of different things a bunch of different players and this seems to be one of the best combinations so you, I mean you don't need all Lucia's I mean you could probably do that with like Yermas or even Mediana's the problem with Mediana 
is she once she runs out of AP, she's spent. So Lucy is definitely the best, and Z's I prefer as well with, for steal time. All right, so now you've seen the optimal setup in the video there in action. Here's just a screenshot that I took. I, I don't know if it was the same match or a previous one. It doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, so you can see Ziza, either there or one square behind it is really good. You don't have to form like a little diagonal wall like I did there, but it worked out really good. Um, and that other slime, you, you can pretty much ignore him. Now this Ziza was only 79. Um, I don't even think they had like a good version of the smart armor, just like basic armor, and was still able to survive. Now, once this raid goes up in level, um, a 79 Ziza will not survive until the end, um, unless you take out that other slime, or maybe steal time with the boss a little bit higher. So once you get up in the higher ranks, you're definitely going to need a little bit higher level of Ziza and maybe a little bit better armor. Uh, but if you have that, it should be no problem. So again, like after the boss takes his second turn, that's when you start stealing time. And then you'll you'll steal three times after that, and that'll give the Lucias, what, like three turns each at least, uh, to chain up on the boss, and it's game over at that point. Uh, so, you know, I hope this video really helped you guys. I know it came late, but I've been really busy. And there's, quite honestly, this raid has been way too short. Uh, so hopefully this helps. Um, or at least gives you insight for future raids. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on another episode of FFBE War of the Visions. Take care.